The next fight on the card is a last minute replacement fight. This one is Kai, the fighting Hawaiian Kamaka the third versus primetime Tony Kelly. Uh, Kai Kamaka, he's an American. He's seven and two. He's 25 years old. He's five feet, seven inches tall, and he's making his UFC debut on a last minute notice here. He's currently on a five fight win streak and he's going against Tony Kelly. Tony Kelly's an American. Tony Kelly is six and one. He's three and oh as a professional in Muay Thai. He's 33 years old. He's five feet, 10 inches tall. And he's also making his UFC debut. He's currently on a one fight win streak. What do you think about these guys? All right, well, right away, Tony Kelly's a name that some people might recognize. Uh, he was a competitor on MTV's Caged and uh, spent time with Tito Ortiz's team um, prior to some legal things that happened. Uh, so Tito ended up cutting him. And then uh, he was vindicated, though. He was found not guilty by a jury. So um, he ended up competing up until 2016, which he took some time off. Um, but he came back in 2019, and he, he did win that fight by submission. He looks yeah. like a pretty well-rounded fighter from what I could tell, man. Um, I didn't watch Cage personally myself, so I, I can't speak for his time on there. Um, but, yeah, from yeah, what I did I see, he looked it. pretty well-rounded. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty excited overall. Um, I think with Kai, you know, Kai's definitely going to have the advantage in the wrestling. That's where he's going to be looking to, to go with it. He's going to try to take him down. Um, he definitely likes to throw some strikes to set up that takedown. Um, whereas, like we said, with Kelly, Kelly's going to have the advantage on the feet, right? He's got that Muay Thai experience. He is very experienced. He's been around. 3-0 is a kickboxer. Yep, 3-0 is a kickboxer. Been around for a long time. But it's interesting to note, though, he most of his MMA wins actually come by submission. Yeah. So he has three. Uh, Tony Kelly has three submissions on his record. So while he's known as the striker, you know, don't think that he can't take you. He can't defeat you on the ground. Well, he also so, – shows really, really good submission defense on the ground. And his fight yeah. versus Kevin Aguilar. Kevin Aguilar, um, he's a he's a UFC fighter now. Um, and he actually recently tweeted about not wanting to have to fight uh, Tony Kelly again because they did have that split decision match in which Kelly lost back in 2016. But, but Aguilar took Kelly down several times. Kelly took Aguilar down in that fight. Um, Aguilar threw up several submissions. I think he had a... a triangle choke he threw uh kelly in an arm bar but kelly was able to defend every single one of those extremely well so um he like i said he looks like a really well-rounded fighter from his striking to his submission defense his wrestling game i don't know that his wrestling game is going to be as high level as kamaka's though kamaka is a uh, high school wrestling coach i believe um, yeah he's a wrestling coach yeah and so I, I would assume that he has a pretty good knowledge of wrestling his legs kamaka's legs are tree trunks and he throws those kicks with power so mm -hmm. for me it, it's it's probably a pick em fight at this point because you know I, it's just crazy both guys look extremely good yeah i mean i think both guys are extremely good but what we have to remember is with kamaka he's just now coming off of a fight uh he fought on the 31st for uh i think it was lfa or was it pfl uh it was lfa he fought for lfa on the 31st and he actually moved from Hawaii to Vegas, so that way he could try, try to take advantage of any last-minute replacement fights or anything yeah. like that that pop up. Well, it, it's working out in his favor. He just got a W not too long ago. He's got a fight coming up now in the UFC as a last-minute fight, so I think he's in shape. I think he's ready to go. That might play into his advantage. Like you said with Tony Kelly, he's, he's had a lot of inactivity. He took the three years off, and he's only had one fight really since he's been back. We don't yeah. really know what all we're looking at with him. Um, with Kamaka coming off of that five-fight win streak right there, I feel pretty confident in his abilities right now. Uh, and personally, I have Kamaka uh, winning by decision. He will also have yep. his, his cousin in his corner. His cousin's the PFL champ. His name is Ray Cooper the third. He'll be in the corner with him. Pretty excited about this fight overall. Yeah, so Kamaka is not a finisher by any means. And if you no. look at his record – um, he has six decision wins in his seven wins with one submission win. Uh, but the, the moral of the story here is he's going to go for the takedowns and he's going to try to grind out a decision here. I too believe that Kamaka wins this one via decision. Perfect. So we both have a decision win there for Kamaka in that fight. Uh, that's going to be awesome there. 